Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lecture. In this lecture, uh, we are going to discuss a very important system call that is Dube and Dube 2. So, for what purpose we use the Dube? Actually, the Dube is you can consider as the short form of duplicate or we use this system call to create duplicate file descriptors. We are already aware about I have discussed in one of my lecture that there are three default file descriptors like file descriptor 0, 1 and 2. Okay. So file descriptor 0 we use for a standard input that represents the keyboard. So when a process want to take any data from the keyboard, it reads actually the file descriptor 0. Okay. And when any process want to print something on the screen, it prints on the file descriptor 1. And there is another file descriptor which is also very well known that is descriptor number 2. So file descriptor is a kind of integer okay, which establishes a kind of link to the actual file and when we write the data onto that descriptor that data will be intended to write or read from that particular file. So let us look at if we want to duplicate the file descriptor we generally use either dupe and dupe2 system call. So there is a file let us say a.txt. When we open the file a.txt by using the open system call, it returns a file descriptor as an integer. right? So by using that integer, let us say if we use read system call, we can read the data or if we use write system call, we can write the data. It depends upon in which mode the file is open. Right? Now, if we duplicate that particular file descriptor, then on the same file, we can use two file descriptor to read or write the data. Similarly, we can create a number of copies of the file descriptors by using the new. Okay. So, both system call takes the existing descriptor as an argument and return a new file descriptor that refers to the same file or resource. The new system call creates a duplicate file descriptor that refers to the same resource as the original file descriptor. The new file descriptor is guaranteed to be the lowest available file descriptor. In system, the file descriptors start initiating like 0, 1 and 2. So apart from these two well-known file descriptor, if a process opens any other file, then it will get the file descriptor value 3, then 4, then 5 and so on. Okay, so let's look at all these things practically. Let me demonstrate you. So let's check it. When we open the manual of dupe, you can check dupe file descriptor. If you want to use, we need to include unistd.h. And whatever the file descriptor we want to copy or create a copy that we consider as old file descriptor, and this dupe will return a new file descriptor for the same. In case of dupe2, we've passed the old file descriptor here and the new file descriptor here. So it will copy the old file descriptor to the new one. If new file descriptor is already opened, then first it will close the op file new file descriptor and copy the old one to the new. Okay, so let's look at uh, the code. I have written one particular code. Let's say so a sample code. Just you look at. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is. Uh, any any variable you can take apart from these the header files i am taking let's say file descriptor you can say old file descriptor or new file descriptor so let me give it like old okay so you can name them like old fd and new fd okay when i am opening it i am considering it as old fd so this open will open this particular file input.txt in read and write mode o underscore rdwr means read write mode if this file is not created then i am setting this particular flag like o underscore create so if the file is not available in the system it will create in the system right and once the file will be created i am using the dupe system call so the dupe system call will copy the file descriptor into new file descriptor 
right so this is not now fd this is old fd right so i'm saying old fd is copied to new fd and i'm printing let's say this old fd here and i'm printing here new fd okay and if we want to duplicate let's say uh, the old fd here to one one you understand one means output that means this is a screen the screen file descriptor is one so i'm copying this file descriptor to the one i'll elaborate later so what i'm trying to do is just you try to understand let me make these things as uh, comment as of now so i'm just printing the old one and new one and there is a file name like input.txt okay so let's run it and try to understand this so if i check it input.txt is there so i can remove it by typing rm command okay so i'm removing it now there is no input.txt right so if i recompile it by using gcc and i run dot slash dot out now the old file descriptor is 3 and the new file descriptor is 4 okay because 0 1 and 2 are fixed for every each and every file so the least possible number integer number which can be utilized as a file descriptor that is 3 okay so if i run it again it will again take it. so for every process like it will it will goes like if we open few more files in this particular program then the file descriptor may be 5 6 7 onwards okay so this is just uh, opening the thing now let's try to understand what is happening if i write anything on the file descriptor 3 okay so if i want to write anything on the file descriptor 3 then how i can write i can i should use write system call okay i should use a write system call so let me go there and to write anything on the old file descriptor i am using write and by using write i am using old fd and i am writing let's say hello okay or i am write written to old fd okay this is the message which i am writing on old fd and the number of character here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 18 let's say so you can use 18 or 19 whatever you want okay so when we are writing it the old file descriptor is representing a file that is input.txt which is open in read and write mode so i can read or i can write it also so i if i run it this this particular line will be written inside the file so let's test it first so if you compile it and if you run it again now if you check uh, the input file return to old fd data is written inside the file okay but let's say if you write something on the new file descriptor also so after writing this particular thing if i write by using write system call if i write something on new underscore fd so i'm saying let's say return to new fd okay just to check this line i have written on new fd let's say again i am taking 18 characters here okay now if you check it because that descriptor 3 has been copied to descriptor 4 old has been copied to let's say 3 uh, 3 has been copied to 4 then whatever you write on 3 it will be written on the same file as well as if you write anything okay okay write system call spelling mistake is there so just change it okay now if you run it and 
and if you check the input.txt file there are two lines has been written written to old file descriptor and new file descriptor although the old one is three and new one is four so if you create any further copy by using uh, dupe system call then maybe you can create a uh, recent file descriptor any fd123 so the next number it will associate like five six seven eight nine ten and whatever the file descriptor you write you can now if you want to close any of the open file descriptor like in this program we have open file descriptor 3 and 4 you can simply write uh, you can use close system called close and then you can close the file descriptor so either you close the old one or new one the another will be open so if you are closing 3 still you can write on the file by using 4 file descriptor if you are closing 4 still you can write on the file or read from the file by using 3 file descriptor now let's you uh, look at the use of um, the file descriptor that is uh, dupe2 so what is happening in dupe2 please try to understand here so let me just uh, comment these lines okay so i'm just commenting it uh, then what i'm doing here is i'm just duplicating the old file descriptor to one now what is one one file descriptor is associated to the script monitor so if this old file descriptor is copied to one that means one file descriptor first it will be closed and then the old one will be copied to the one so that means now one file descriptor is associated to the input.txt file and by default you know that printf function prints on file descriptor one that is on a script so whatever we display on the screen we write let's say printf hello world so printf write the hello world on file descriptor one that means on the screen of the computer but this time it has been duplicated so old one has been duplicated so now this time it will not print this hello one on the screen this hello one will be printed inside the input.txt file because input.txt file descriptor has been copied to one so let's check it now if you compile it again and then you run it so once you run it and if you check the input.txt input.txt is having hello world okay so this hello world is recently written the next thing the previously written contain has been actually overwritten okay so let me delete the uh, this particular file and then we can recompile it so i'm just deleting it and then run the code again okay so when we run it again this time we will have only one line that is hello world because the previous file has been gone so whatever the data we have written earlier the return to old file descriptor this right so if you look at the code we are writing on the screen using printf but on a screen this hello world is not being displayed hello world is being written on the input.txt okay this dupe and dupe2 system call is very important to understand why because to establish the inter-process communication so let's check it right if i do the opposite thing if i copy let's say you can understand easily so if i do one here and let's say if i do old file descriptor here old underscore ft now what will happen this this screen or you can say the standard output file descriptor will be copied to the file so when you are writing something so rather than printing here rather than printing here if i write something on file descriptor one if i write something on file descriptor one here let's say if i use write and in this write let's say if i use file descriptor one and if i write let's say hello only this right so these are like five letters so i am writing here five characters now although i am trying to write on file descriptor one but file descriptor one is copied to old fd so either you use here old fd or one in both the cases it will display on the screen okay so next statement also i am writing write on old fd and let's say hello again i am writing the same thing now this time 
two hellos will be printed on the screen if you want to give new line then you can give here new line like this and you can increase a character like there are six character so i can give new line here also and there are six characters okay so i need to recompile this code so you can recompile and then run it again and there are hello you are printing on on this screen right now there is a problem in this old file descriptor and new file descriptor because this file has not been opened so we need to check why the file is not opened because it is returning minus one that's why this is only printing once okay so let me delete this input okay and let's again run the program now this time is fine okay so the new file has been created and you know that why it is returning 3 and 4 but this hello we were printing on file descriptor 1 another hello we were printing on old file descriptor but both the hellos are coming on the screen so if you check the content of the input file there will be nothing you find out so if you if i check there's nothing actually blank right so this is the use of dupe and dupe 2 uh, what kind of question will be asked in your interim practical? Uh, let, let me demonstrate you a few of the questions I am giving you in the file or I will solve few of the questions. So let's see if I, if I give you a sample of the question. What can be asked in this? Let's say if I give you the program. Let me give you an example. So I am creating a sample ETP question file okay so if i want to create it i can use let's say touch command or g edit we can use so let's say i'm using touch or vi okay now in this you can check it say if i give you a write a c program that creates a file called file1.txt and write some text to it then use the dupe system call to create a duplicate file descriptor for the file finally use the duplicate file descriptor to write some more text to the file so this is a very easy question i hope you can do it okay right so similar kind of a number of questions can be asked so i'm just closing it uh, the dupe system call in the next session we are going to discuss mk4 Okay, so thank you everybody for connecting.